Chapter 5 Periodic Classification of Elements Introduction In Class 9th, we have learnt that matter around us is present in the form of elements, compounds and mixtures and the elements contain atoms of only one type. Do you know how many elements are known till date? At present, 118 elements are known to us. All these have different properties. Out of these 118, only 98 are naturally occurring. As different elements were being discovered, scientists gathered more and more information about the properties of these elements. They found it difficult to organize all that was known about the elements. They started looking for some pattern in their properties on the basis of which they could study such a large number of elements with ease. Making order out of chaos, early attempts at the classification of elements. We have been learning how various things or living beings can be classified on the basis of their properties. Even in other situations, we come across instances of organization based on some properties. For example, in a shop, soaps are kept together at one place while biscuits are kept together elsewhere. Even among soaps, bathing soaps are stacked separately from washing soaps. Similarly, scientists made several attempts to classify elements according to their properties and obtain an orderly arrangement out of chaos. The earliest attempt to classify the elements resulted in grouping the then known elements as metals and non-metals. Later, further classifications were tried out as our knowledge of elements and their properties increased. The Briner's Triad In the year 1817, Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner a German chemist tried to arrange the elements with similar properties into groups. He identified some groups having three elements each. So he called these groups triads. Dobriner showed that when the three elements in a triad were written in the order of increasing atomic masses, the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of the other two elements. If you want to watch all the chapters in this format, then call us on the number description. Example of Dubrainer's triad. Take the triad consisting of lithium, sodium and potassium with the respective atomic masses 6.9, 23.0, and 39.0. What is the average of the atomic masses of lithium and potassium? How does this compare with the atomic mass of sodium? Given below in the table are some groups of three elements. These elements are arranged downwards in order of increasing atomic masses. Can you find out which of these groups form the Briner triad? You will find that groups B and C form the Briner triad. The Briner could identify only three triads from the elements known at that time. Hence, this system of classification into triads was not found to be useful. Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner, 1780-1849 Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner studied as a pharmacist at Munchberg in Germany 
and then studied chemistry at Strasbourg. Eventually, he became a professor of chemistry and pharmacy at the University of Jena. De Bruyne made the first observations on platinum as a catalyst and discovered similar triads of elements which led to the development of the periodic table of elements, Newland's law of octaves. The attempts of De Bruyne encourage other chemists to correlate the properties of elements with the atomic masses. In 1866, John Newlands, an English scientist, arranged the then known elements in the order of increasing atomic masses. He started with the element having the lowest atomic mass, that is hydrogen, and ended at thorium, which was the 56th element. He found that every eighth element had properties similar to that of the first. He compared this to the octaves found in music. Therefore, he called it the law of octaves. It is known as Newland's law of octaves. In Newland's octaves, the properties of lithium and sodium were found to be the same. Sodium is the eighth element after lithium. Similarly, Beryllium and magnesium resemble each other. A part of the original form of Newland's octaves is given in the table. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें. It was found that the law of octaves was applicable only up to calcium, as after calcium. Every eighth element did not possess properties similar to that of the first. It was assumed by Newlands that only 56 elements existed in nature and no more elements would be discovered in the future. But later on, several new elements were discovered whose properties did not fit into the law of octave. In order to fit elements into his table, Newlands adjusted two elements in the same slot, but also put some unlike elements under the same node. Can you find examples of these from the table? Note that cobalt and nickel are in the same slot and these are placed in the same column as fluorine, chlorine, and bromine, which have very different properties. Than these elements. Iron, which resembles cobalt and nickel in properties, has been placed far away from these elements. Thus, Newland's law of octaves worked well with lighter elements only. Are you familiar with musical notes? In the Indian system of music, there are seven musical notes in a scale. Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni. In the West, they use the notations Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti. The notes in a scale are separated by whole and half step frequency intervals of tones and semitones. A musician uses these notes for composing the music of a song. Actually, there must be some repetition of note. Every eighth note is similar to the first one and it is the first note of the next scale. If you want to see all the chapters in your syllabus in this format, then call us in the description of the number. For more educational videos, subscribe to our channel Home Revise.